Hey everyone, welcome to DGR Unicast. Since the iPhone 16 Pro comes with Wi-Fi 7 capabilities, I wanted to try out the TP-Link Tri-Band Wi-Fi 7 BE22000 with this phone. FYI, I have a 10 gigabit per second parallel internet connection that I have hardwired to the back of this unit via an SFP Plus connection, so the results will be interesting. I have an ethernet to USB-C adapter here. Uh, I'm going to do a speed test just to show you what it is with a hardwired Ethernet USB-C connection. So as you can see, I'm getting just about 2,000 megabits per second down and about 2,000 megabits per second up as well, actually a little over. Now this adapter is supposed to be two and a half gigabits per second. This is an iPhone 16 Pro. I don't know if it's fully compatible I don't know if it's artificially capping it at two gigabits per second parallel, but it definitely seems to be uh, doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect this from ethernet. We're gonna test out Wi-Fi 7 with, with solely the 2.4 and five gigahertz bands, the six gigahertz band, and then a combo 2.4, five, and six. All right, so I am now on simply the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz band with this access point here. And I'm going to see how fast the speeds are just with those two bands. Now, one thing to know, this apartment building has a ton of congestion on the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz bands, which will limit the amount of throughput the signals here can have based on all of the co-channel interference. And this is with just the 2.4 and five. Let me go back and switch it to the six gigahertz. And we're now on six gigahertz. So let's see what we get here. Huge difference as you can see. So the last test was with the 2.4 and the five together. This is just with six gigahertz. So this is six gigahertz all on its own no other bands used and you can see how big of a difference there is 1.5 gigabits per second down almost 1.7 gigabits per second upload again this access point here this wi-fi 7 access point does have a 10 gigabit per second connection i'm not achieving 10 gigabits per second but as you can see on a two and a half gigabit per second ethernet connection i was only getting two so for wireless speeds though this is really good let's go over to the combo where it's now all three bands and let's check it out i'm on the combo network <laughs> all right so let's go back and let's see here again i'm right in front of the access point but still <laughs> so this is what i found interesting Look at how the speeds have actually degraded slightly. So by using all three bands in this very co-channel interference heavy apartment building, it's actually not better. The, the combo band is not better on the iPhone 16 Pro with this access point here, as you can see. So very interesting results. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.